I, meanwhile, was starting to worry that in this heat on tarmac, my little plastic wheels would be starting to warp. So when I got to the hotel, I also didn't join Jeremy for lunch. I need to find a way of cooling them, build a cooling system out here with nothing. And what I do in situations like this is think to myself, what would Bear Grylls do? Having scoured the shoreline for nature's raw materials, I set to work. Well, fingers crossed, here's what I've done. Luckily, I found these completely full office water cooler bottles that had been washed up, along with this nylon rope that had also been washed up. And along with them, I found these lengths of clear hose. I've attached them to the car, some cable ties had washed up, and down here at the bottom, it can deliver a life-saving trickle of cooling water. It may not look pretty, but it'll work. And as Bear Grylls himself says, improvise, adapt, survive. Sadly, Hammond's modifications had taken so long, it was too late in the day to move on. And anyway,